Hello, my Canadian cousins, and welcome back. This is the part four and the conclusion to Gord Downey's The Secret Path, and the tragic story of Chani Wenjack, who escaped from residential school and uh, tried to make his way back home and um, tragically passed away, uh, succumbed to the elements. And if you watch part three, uh, that was just heart-wrenching. This is an artistic rendering of uh, an interpretation of, of what he may, might have gone through. Um, I'm going to save my final thoughts for the conclusion, and let's just get into it. See you at the end, my friends. Thank you. Oh, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. You know, um, as big as the world is, we're all connected in some way. You know, I don't know how, but I know that. You may be connected to somebody almost like a sister and a brother. And I think that's why Gord was connected to Charlie. I wonder if the Wenjack sisters were also in residential schools, and I, you know, would love, if so, to hear their story of survivorship. discuss a serious topic, it's always good to have a sense of humor. No, that, um, it's not the easiest thing to have and mm. to travel with and all that. Eh? So, so I'd like to thank you for coming. Well, thank you. I, I feel really great to see you guys and to finally meet you. Uh, uh, we played our last show a week or so ago. A lot of people watched it. rock show, oh. band playing its oh, last yeah. show, right? <laughs> yeah, tragically. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that this was so close in time to that. Um, I had misspoken on my uh, earlier video and said, said that that last show I th it was in Hamilton, Ontario, which I was wrong about. Sorry. It was in Kingston. <laughs> And I thank uh, those of you who yeah. corrected me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I realized, oh, I'm in the middle of it. And I realized, oh, there's 
like in the middle of the show, I had made no plans, no, uh, you know. And all of a sudden, like, wait a second, there's 20 million people watching. I can say whatever I want. Yeah. And what I want to say is this. Just, ah, uh, there's something wrong with this country. It's not, there's something really wrong. Something's not right. Down south, none of us, I'm 52, heard a darn thing about what was happening up here at all. The tracks. Every time I see tracks, I think of Charlie. And I will stop and look down the tracks. And I will, and I would feel the distance, you know, because how far I still have to go. Mm. That was a very interesting, insightful comment. Um, looking down the tracks that Charlie walked down, the distance that he couldn't cover, he didn't make, how long he had to go and she's using it metaphorically. It's a beautiful sentiment. They all do. We all do. He was always proud when he accomplished something, even little things, knowing that song, Ashes of Love. He used to sing that at night. We used to dance to. When he was sick, after he had his lung surgery, he was up all hours of the night because he couldn't sleep with the pain. So I'd stay up with him. And in the moonlight, we'd dance. While everybody was sleeping. And when he had left that day for the school, my name wasn't on the list. So I was told I couldn't go. And he kept on asking me why I couldn't leave. And I told him, you know, my name is not on the list. I've got to stay home. And he said, I don't want to leave, he said. I don't want to go, he says. You're not going, he says. I didn't know then. I think he must have known he wasn't going to come back. But I know now that he, he knew he wasn't going to come back that year. And you know what I want from this? Is that I want high schools, schools to be built on every reserve high schools so that children don't have to leave until there's such time that they're older to take care of themselves. If Charlie's life can save other children, then I've done my work. I've done what I've intended to do. And I thank God, everybody, that they've come here. It's because God is, is, she is. I'm glad she's come here. I thank them from the bottom of my heart.
today I feel incredible amounts of joy and shame. I just think he's the symbol. <laughs> and the country's incredibly lucky to have you for such intelligence, such patience. Okay. Thank Thank you. Bad. You'll be okay. Beautiful. And I, I also have to imagine he's standing there thinking of his own mortality at this point, being as sick as he was. I also find it remarkable that um, Charlie's sister is wearing a Canada sweatshirt. It, you know, there's obviously, I, I, I couldn't speculate what is in her mind about it, but as, as much as what's gone on, and, and what her family had to suffer through, she still seems like considers herself a proud Canadian. And it's probably a lot about the country that she is proud of. Um, I would love to talk to her or people like her about that. And you know, even in this country, there are certainly Native Americans who are proud Americans and they serve in the military and they do all that they do for, you know, a country that has historically mistreated them terribly. I think my greatest hope is that uh, the rest of the world see what went on in Canada, but to not stop there, to continually heal that whatever happened there to continually heal and to do every way everything that you can to bring that about he is the right person to tell a story because uh, the creator chose him we didn't i didn't and i'm glad it was good you know he will be forever remembered I think she just answered my question, you know, she wants healing. And I guess that is the entire purpose of the truth and reconciliation, reconciliation being part of it. see me I am the stranger do you know what I mean I navigate the mouth I walk above the path jumping to the Jump to the left on a secret path. The one nobody knows, and I'm moving fast on the path nobody knows. I am the 
stranger You can't see me I am a stranger Do you know what I mean? I am a stranger This is just rehearsal, or are they recording? I don't see recording. I don't know. I am a stranger. I am a stranger. Well, my friends, wow. Thank you for taking this journey with me, those of you who, who did. Uh, I really am glad to have shared this with you. You know, I, I find that this was extremely important to do, and I don't want to repeat things I've said in my uh, prior segments of this video. I think I'm going to sum up like this. I've got a little YouTube channel here. It's very small, but... I connect with thousands of people, not hundreds of thousands. And um, sometimes some videos, just hundreds of people. That's still a lot. And so if I can bring, you know, topics like this into consciousness for discussion and learn especially what has happened with the Aboriginal people of North America. And um, I'm sorry if you think that I've, com I've been comparing Canada and the United States for some reason, uh, or to suggest that Canada was worse at this than we ha were here. It's, that's not it. I know more about what's gone on here and the comparisons are appropriate because it's what has happened to Aboriginal people, specifically in North America, First Nations people. Um, but it's happened to Aboriginal people all over the world, you know, Australia, New Zealand, anywhere you can think that there has been European colonization. And so that's why I've spoken about it. But at the end of the day, this did not happen to me. This Gord Downey, I've got this little YouTube channel. Gord Downey is a famous musician and I love him for doing this and I love him for using his, the power of his fame and platform to, to do this in, in, in such a sincere way that it's the way he chose to end his life. It's the way he chose to spend the last year of his life. And it was obviously so important to him. And he felt so damn strong about it, strongly. But at the end of the day, these stories aren't ours to tell. And I hope from the perspective of any First Nations people who might be watching this that you don't roll your eyes and say, oh, there's just some white guy up here trying to tell our story. Um, I've been co cognizant of that. And what I would really like to do from this point forward in my personal ex exploration is hear some of the testimonials uh, some of the testimony from, from people during the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Because although Chani Wenjek died and it was absolutely tragic and he represents so many that did not survive, there are, I don't even know how many, untold amounts of survivors out there with their own stories. And I think it's important to hear their stories um, and let them be leaders in, in the process. I hope I'm not totally off base, my friends. Um, those are just one guy's thoughts for what they're worth. Anyway, all right, so I think uh, next video I'm gonna post is gonna be more Canadian comedy so we can 
have something a little bit more lighthearted than this, but won't be as nearly as important in my mind. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon, my friends. Take care.